Welcome back everybody, I'm Necromancer, and we're going to be plunging a little bit deeper into Bioshock today. I'm really happy with how I'm making progress thus far, and oh, the nostalgia for Rapture is really getting to me. I've always loved this game, and now I'm right back in the thick of it. Oh. Anybody? Oh, hello there. Ugh. Come on, come on. You coward. There we go. Still getting used to the first person controls. Anything on you? No? Well then. Oh, hello. Oh, no, 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 no. That would have been such a good moment. Let's get her. Come on, you coward. There we go. No more you're running. A little bit wasteful with my Eve, but I don't think I'm going to be hurting for it too much. You can already see, altruism is the root of all wickedness. All these spires to man, this really is just the objectivist paradise, and the message that they're trying to get across with this game is the evils of man in his, quote, natural environment. Especially with the introduction of Adam. They'll go into that a little bit more later, but Adam is really... Security essentially, alert. it's supposed to be freedom. It allows man to fully be exactly what he wants, rather than what he is. And the debauchery and... Evil, oh. The debauchery and evil that comes from that is... Oh, you interrupted me. How unfair. The debauchery and evil that comes from being able to fully control your entire being is one of the main themes of Bioshock. Eve Hypo, they're really nice about ammo, especially if you're not playing on like a harder difficulty. I'm just playing on normal, because I don't really see the point in making it exceedingly difficult for myself. Enjoy! Yeah, water is your best friend. And because we're in Rapture, water is absolutely everywhere. Can't go that way, there's the flame turret. But water really, from the start of the game, is just everywhere and really trivializes some of the weaker enemies in the game. Here we are. Such a lovely trap. So tell me, friend, yes. which one of the bitches sent you? The KGB wolf or the CIA jackal? Here's the news. Rapture isn't some sunken ship for you to plunder. And Andrew Ryan isn't a giddy socialite who could be slapped around by government muscle. And with that, farewell. Or does Lavania, whichever. Yeah, Andrew Ryan really doesn't like government, and he is willing to pull out all the stops to make sure his rapture stays is Rapture. Yeah. We're pretty screwed. There we go. We need to get gone, and get gone quickly. Atlas has our back there. Always manages to scrape us out of a bind. Now you've met Andrew Ryan, the bloody king of Rapture. Now find your way to emergency access. The Vita Chamber. They keep these in the background, and it takes a long time for them to actually introduce them properly, but basically they're just a respawn system. Nothing much more to it than that, but yeah. Beautiful. Dr. Steinman's Cosmetic Enhancements. Ooh, the foreshadowing's just great. 
Yeah, that's that's their excuse for the ghost memories. Splicing carries with it some of the memories of the people who were gathered. Yeah, he's not interested in you. But, we do have the ability to hack simple machines. And while it's a bit of a silly and contrived system, it works out. It takes a while to get used to, and the sensitivity on the mouse... What? What? Was that not the exit? I thought that was where I was supposed to get it to. No, I wasn't paying attention, but the sensitivity on the mouse changes between the actual gameplay segments and the uh, hacking segments. So whenever you just first begin hacking, there's a little moment there where uh, you're, you're still struggling to get used to the new mouse speed. And it can have quite drastic consequences if you don't acclimate yourself fast enough, especially on the more difficult hacks like safes or just certain other hacks that are ridiculously difficult. It gets a lot worse later in the game, but you can hack the vending machines to get reduced prices or you can hack security to have them work for you. And if they're working for you, they're not shooting you, which is definitely the desired outcome. Keep away from that there we go. Oh, he's not gonna enjoy us mucking about in there, so let's have our security drone take care of it. Pistol, really great for headshots. A little bit difficult to handle, especially if you're not used to the controls, but I think I'm gonna acclimate fairly nicely. More of this. I ever truly a surgeon before I met them. How we plinked away with our scalpels and toy morality. Yes, we could lop a boil here and shave down a beak there, but but could we really change anything? No. But Adam gives us the means to do it. And Ryan frees us from the phony ethics that held us back. Change your look, change your sex, change your race. It's yours to change. Nobody else's. You get a really clear sense of the infatuation with Adam. Oh. Adam allowed people to finally control their world. This gets us our machine gun, but now we have to defend ourselves for a little bit. No, no, I don't think I'll stop right there. There we go. Security bot's very useful, very friendly. The lockbox is basically their method of making sure there aren't too many corpses on the ground. If a corpse has been around for long enough, it just turns into a lockbox. Yeah. Guns? Pretty useful. Oh, hello. Plasmids? Much more useful. The ammo for plasmids, however, is slightly more rare 
than that for your guns. So you want to use it a little bit more cautiously. Where are they coming from? Not to mention that it's a little bit more expensive to buy EVE hypos than it is to... Oh. There we go. Than it is to buy just ammunition from the vending machines that hang about. Keep yourself nice and healed up. They're pretty lenient with med packs. So you don't have to worry too much about that. And now we're heading on to the medical pavilion. Hopefully we get to see Dr. Steinman in all of his glory. Yes. You promised me oh. pretty, Steinman! <laughs> you promised me pretty! Now look at me! Look at me! Somehow I don't think she was too happy with her results. You keep an eye for Steinman. The daft bastard set up shop in the surgery wing. You want to find them? Just follow the blood. Just follow the blood. Above all, do not harm Jay Steinman. Ah, oh, it's chilling. Adam presents new problems for the profession. As your tools improve, so do yours. Remember, all their machines will short out right and proper if you hit them with electrobolts. Yeah. Interrupted Steinman's monologue, but, uh... It's for the greater good. He's just explaining the hacking system a little bit more clearly. Most of the time you have to actually uh, stun a targeted turret or drone in order to hack it, otherwise it'll just keep firing at you while you close in. Uncivil, uncouth, uncultivated. Excuse me, that's not very nice of you. I don't remember doing anything to you. Let's get this. I was at German prison camp. Only oh, Dr. Tenenbaum. When I realized I have love for science. German doctor. He makes experiments. Sometimes he makes scientific error. I tell him of this error. And this makes him angry. But then he asks, how can a child know such a thing? I tell him sometimes I just know. He screams at me. Then why tell me? Well, I said, if you are going to do such things, at least you should do them properly. Yeah, Tenenbaum's such a great character. They introduced you to special ammo types here, with that... Uh, whatchamacallit... Armor-piercing round for your pistol. You probably don't want to be wasting them just yet, but... It's nice to start collecting them early on. You can actually hack health stations as well to reduce the price just as you would with a regular vending machine. And that can be extremely useful because hacked, uh, whatchamacallums, health dispensers actually damage enemies who try to use them. And that is one of the more interesting mechanics they have in the game is that the enemy splicers can actually access these health stations as well, so hacking all the health stations in an area, make sure that you only have to deal with enemies once. Oh, yeah, that's everything there. There's so many of these diaries in this first area. The parasite expects the doctor to heal them for free. The farmer to feed them out of charity. How little they differ from the pervert who prowls the streets looking for a victim he can ravish for his grotesque amusement. Yeah, you can definitely see the philosophy there. It's based around the idea that... Ah, that's not working for me. It's based around the idea that everybody is free, and... Oh, yeah, you can see. No one should have to give up the fruits of their own labor for nothing. Even if someone's dying, doctors in Rapture don't have to heal them. Even if someone's starving, they need not be fed unless they can earn their pay or whatever. And that's the essential idea behind the decay here. It has been brought to my here. attention that some citizens have discovered ways to hack the vending Yeah, machines. no. 
should not need to remind each and every citizen of rapture that free enterprise is the foundation upon which our society has been established. Parasites will be punished. In that little room right there, they start introducing... What? How does that happen? Come on. But in that room, they start introducing you to the idea that machines are not always just a breeze to hack. The machines in that room are actually much more difficult than you would expect from this level of the game. And so it's kind of a trap. They've got a lot of these detonating overload circuits and I think maybe even some alarm circuits. And if you route the power through them, even on accident, then horrible things happen to you. Yeah. This is one of the wonderful scenes that's just all over Rapture. Yes. Arrange for this one to be taken to the morgue. There we go. These guys have a ridiculous amount of health. They take a long time to kill, and sometimes you just don't want to deal with that, so you can let him get away from you and deal with him later. Oh. Let's see what this has to offer. became bored of painting people. He started representing them as cubes and other abstract forms. The world called him a genius. I've spent my entire surgical career creating the same tired shapes over and over again. The upturned nose, the cleft chin, the ample bosom. Security cameras. I can hear the infernal things all around you. Ryan's eyes and ears. That's a security camera over there. And I can hack it. The benefits of hacking a security camera are that it will no longer target you, and it can actually call the alarm on enemy splicers. Alarms are incredibly difficult to deal with early in the game, but later on you should have all the tools you need to manage all the bots that are going to come at you, but it's still just a period of time when you really need to be focused on defense rather than offense, and that can really slow you down. This little furnace control here. It's one of these secrets I remember. There's a bunch of strange things like this all over the place. Mechanics that they don't necessarily introduce you to. But if you're playing smart and really just thinking about your, the world you're in, you can get little perks and boosts every now and again. That one was Hacker's Delight, which decreases the amount of alarm nodes that are present in a any given oh goodness any given ooh, hack and so it can really reduce the difficulty of some of the more strenuous and exacting hacks uh, there are three types of passive tonics I believe there are combat tonics which tonics being just another type of plasmid uh, let's See if I can remember. There, I know for a fact that there, there's the com combat tonics. There's also hacking tonics. I believe they have their own sec. No, engineering. And one other. Ah, well, I can't remember it now, but we'll be getting different plasmids for each of those sections later on, so it'll introduce it as we go. Light up foes to a thousand degrees. Fire yeah, I love the advertisements for all the plasmids. And they introduce them in a wonderful way. Incinerate the nearby oil slick. Light that on fire. Watch them burn. Yeah. Pretty great. Yeah, it's basically just establishing why exactly all of the splicers seem to follow what Andrew Ryan says and do his bidding. Because otherwise it would be very strange that 
he pretty much controls everyone and everything in the entirety of Rapture. It would be very hard to explain that in-game. That's her down. Oh dear. Whenever I start hearing a security drone, I know that it's something I've got to deal with. Ow. And he destroyed it. What a jerk. The grenade boxes that they all hold will have stuff for you eventually, but right now we're still too early in the game for them to give us anything useful. I am beautiful, yes. Look at me. What could I do to make my features finer? With Adam and my scalpel, I have been transformed. But is there not something better? What if now it is not my skill that fails me, but my imagination? Gosh, it's so eerie, listening to Steinman's decline into insanity. Oh, hello, I, I Sorry, lady. Lighting them on fire stuns them for a little bit, and puts a constant dot on them, so it's really helpful. Let me see. Can I actually... Uh, maybe I can't get through this door, so... We'll have to find another way around. But that doesn't mean I can't take this whole stash back here. Anything else? Oh! Oh, that's right. Doesn't open from this side, but... It does trigger this little... Hazard for you. Again, all this... In these early levels of hacking, you can pretty much reveal most of the entire field and just have all the time you really need to get the hack done. And it works out quite nicely. You can see it's still at the starting area by the time I'm done hacking. The actual hack difficulty is displayed for you here, and I'm actually not gonna hack that just yet, but that's just because I know the area pretty well, and there's actually an auto-hack tool just over here. Yeah. Lies. Never trust it. If there's ever a reason to be sympathetic towards a splicer, don't trust it. Just shoot first, ask questions later. That's what's gonna do you right in the end. 0451. And what's this? We have a little keypad over here where we can enter that number in and immediately get a nice little reward. Automatic hack tool. These, oh, let's regenerate some of that. These allow you to pass a hack for free. It uses up the hack tool in the process, but it's a way to get into particularly difficult hacks or just bypass the process if you're feeling lazy. Some money, some bullets, and some special rounds. Yeah, this place is creepy. Very medical area. It's a great aesthetic, but goodness, does it just give you the chills. Oh, and the music. Where'd he go? Yes, engineering tonics. And now we have to worry about that splicer. Sneaking up from behind. Keep away from my patients! Oh, that's right. <laughs> he was hiding in there. It's a short kill, but it's a really nice bit of atmosphere there. Did I explore this whole area? I did. Which means I should start heading to the actual objective now. Or, wait a minute. I do have incinerate, which means... Oh, oh, yes. Excuse me, that's rude. There we go. That's what you get for insulting me. Yes, they're always likening you to the parasite because you... Uh, kind of take from the city. You don't construct anything. Virtue. It is a moral 
obligation? Do we force the healthy to live in the contagious? Do we mix the criminal with the law abiding? Then why are the plain allowed to mingle with the fair? Yeah, Steinman's philosophy is really messed up. He's gone pretty, pretty insane at this point, and by golly does it show. Aesthetics are a moral imperative. <laughs> Why Friggin do we have twisted. two eyes? Is there some law that says we must? Two arms, two legs, two ears, two breasts. I'm not finished! I'm not finished! Yeah, his monologue's pretty messed up. You'll have to find some way to get through to surgery and <laughs> no, I have Chin up now. The Lord hates a quitter. Oh, look at the difficulty on that hack. That's a trap. Explosives are hard to come by down here. But if you get your hands on one of them telekinesis plasmids, you can catch the damn firebombs and toss it right back in his gob. Or anything else that might be standing in your way. Not particularly subtle, but uh yeah. Pretty much just telling you to go get a telekinesis plasmid. They are so mean about those ambushes. You've got to be quick once you've... Oh, gosh, stop it. Lady, please. Oh, goodness. There's just all over the place. They're really bad about those ambushes in that they're extremely common. Whenever you're turning a corner or opening a door, there is a chance that there's... A bunch of splices behind there just waiting to mess you up. But, as I said earlier, these are kind of a trap. They're much higher level than you should really be expecting from this area of the game. And so they're kind of meant to show you that you're not going to be able to pass every hack. And so you shouldn't always just hack everything willy-nilly. It's a nice little intro to the mechanic. What's, what's through here? Oh uh, yeah, just a med pack available once you grab kinesis. Telekinesis. Where is that exactly? Mm-hmm. Probably... Oh, that's right. It's right down under here. In that frozen pile of water. With an audio log in it, by the way. Stein, Let's listen to that. Is your matter. But you might want to cogitate on this. Ocean water is colder than a witch's tip. You don't heat the pipes, the pipes freeze. Pipes freeze, pipes burst, then rapture leaks. Now, I realize you're a posh sort of teaser, and frankly, I don't give a toss if you piss or go fishing. But once rapture starts leaking, the old girl's never gonna stop. And then I'll be sure to tell Ryan he's got you a thank. Yeah. Just establishing some of the world, some of the lore about the place. And I'm pretty sure this is where I'm going to be cutting it for today. Open up this little passageway, and next time we'll head on through and see what lovely, lovely beings are waiting for us in Fontaine's dandy little dental area. Thank you so much for watching. I look forward to playing through the rest of this game, and it's been a pleasure entertaining. Have a good day.